Hi guys and welcome to another one of my videos. Um, I've just finished installing Ubuntu Server 16.10 as you can see there I've done that cat release command. Um, I need to configure the network and you'll probably have to do the same when you install. Um, so what we need to do is we need to do the following command. I've, I have gone into this already because I'm obviously holding the camera if I'm honest with you. So what we need to do so we need to do sudo, um, nano, etc. Network interfaces. You can, you could use another text editor like oh, I don't know. Um, I can't can't think of it at the moment, but there's a few. Uh, Vim is one of them. There's a couple of others as well. But let's we're going to use going to use nano for now. So sudo nano etc. Network interfaces. Um, here you've got your local loopback interface. You can leave that alone. Um, before I changed this, I had iFace, and that's obviously what it's called, um, it's iNet, it's a DHCP. I don't want DHCP, I want to set it, um, I want to set the details statically so I know what it is because it's a server. So we've set the address 172.16.1.1.10. Now, obviously, your network will probably be different, it might be 192.168.1.1. 1110 or 1. Dot, uh, sorry, once could be. I'll rephrase that 192 168 1. 1110 or 0.1110. It depends. Um, set the net mask 255 250 and network. Some of these bits you don't have to set, I don't think you've got to set network, but that's about it for that. So, control X, get rid of that. Um, next thing I need to do is I need to change my <coughs> resolve conf and that's basically the DNS name servers your your um, machine will be using. So what I do there is I go sudo nano etc resolve conf. It's R E S O L V, not doesn't have an E on the end. I stupidly typed that a minute ago. And for this I've typed my router. You can add another name server there, for example, Google. You could use Google in the first place, 8.8.8.8 uh, .8 .8 .8 or 8.8.8.44. So I'm going to close that. Oops. And the next thing I need to do is, once I've done all that, I need to restart the network. So I need to type sudo. bit tricky typing this with one hand with the camera. Um, sudo init etc. init dot d network restart. So there we go. sudo etc. init dot d network restart. Now oh, command not found in there. So look at it. It's just typical that isn't it? So look, what have we got? Oh net oh it's it's oh it's networking, it's not network, it's networking. My mistake. Networking. Oops. So that's gonna restart the network interfaces. So if I go ifconfig interface config dash a that should give me some information about the network interface so we can see that it's 148. Well that hasn't actually worked. Alright, so why is that? Let's see that Should have worked. 110, blah 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 blah. I wonder why that's not working. Before I still. Well, I'm just going to do this another way. I can either restart the machine or I can just issue a command manually ifconfig 
what is the interface called? ENPOS4. Nice, easy thing to remember. Not normally, normally it's ETH0 or ETH1. I don't know why it's like that first. Put that down. An operation I'll need to put sudo in front of that. And let's bring it up again. I've config. Let's see if I can see if it's done it. Oh, it's still that red. Oh, it's restarting. I'll have to find out why that's not working, but I'll just restart it for now. Right, so the machine's going to boot up. That's strange because normally when you restart the network and it works fine, unless there's something with the config that I'm not doing right, but I'm pretty sure I am. But it's all a learning curve, I suppose. Right, it's going to boot up. Let's give it a few minutes. But yeah, that's generally how you do it. You end, you basically edit the network interfaces file, set what you want, um, and then edit the resolve conf if you want to change what name servers your machine's using, and just restart the network interface, and it does it. I mean, generally with Linux, you shouldn't have to reboot it like this. But I'm just going to reboot it anyway because I just want it to work. So I need to configure a lot of other stuff. So I've just finished um, actually installing this. So. Yep, it's not the fastest machine in the world, but we're getting there. It's actually surprising how much stuff it actually has to do when it boots up. It's quite a lot of stuff. It looks like it started the networking already. So I'm going to log in. Daniel, log in as Daniel. So what do I want to do? Uh, sudo. See if it's remember the command. Sudo. Oh, there we go. So it's done it. So yeah, I'm not really sure why the net, the networking script hasn't changed the interface uh, details, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Ping. Let's ping one of Google's DNS servers. Dot eight. Dot eight. Dot eight. There we go. As you can see, that works. And let's just make sure the DNS. Um, we can resolve DNS, so we can do something like, I don't know, bbc.co.uk, which is a UK broadcasting company if you're not from the UK. Um, Google.co.uk. I mean, obviously, you can ping your gateway. For example, you could just do, so my gateway is, if I do, if I get the IP details again. My gate was only one, one dot one, so I could just do ping. One. So difficult to type without two hands. One dot one, and that's just going to ping my gateway. But that's just like my local router, so obviously that doesn't really. It does test that the network card on the PC and the switch and the router is responding, etc. But when you ping something like bbc.co.uk or Google, you know that you're traffic's going through the card, the router, it's resolving DNS. So yeah, that's basically it guys. So thanks for watching and apologies for such a long video. I guess I'll have to find out why the um, that networking script doesn't automatically change it. But thanks, I hope that helps somebody.